For the example of tr trigonometry I have here, I'm going to be dealing with a roof, okay? Um, because it's a nice example which you may probably use in the future. Okay, well, this roof, it spans 5,200 millimetres. It also has these eave overhangs on each side of 600. This roof has a pitch of 23 degrees. So the things which we're going to be wanting to find out with this roof, first off, is going to be the height that this roof goes to. So I'll draw a little triangle which deals with this. A triangle from there to there to there. Just a very approximate sort of triangle. Okay, and I'll move this. Okay, this will be the first triangle that we're going to deal with. Okay, and it has the height that we're trying to find. In addition, we're going to have to work, we know the actual area, the length down here, it's going to be half of how much this roof actually spans. So 5,200 divided by 2 is 2,600. Okay, that will be the first thing we're trying to find out. The next thing we're going to try and find out is this raft length here. Okay, so I'll draw it. This is a right angle triangle. Now, with this right angle triangle, it's going to be a little bit different in its dimensions from the last one we drew, and I'll show you how in just a second. I'll move it first off. I'll move it down to here where we'll deal with that in a second as well. Okay. Now the dimensions of this, as I said, are slightly different. The angle here is the same, 23 degrees is the pitch. This is the length we're trying to find. And this one down the bottom here is going to be slightly different because this time it includes, it has to take into account the eaves. Okay, the rafter actually runs down right over the eaves. So I'm going to have to include this 600 mil here. So 2,600 plus 600 3,200. Okay, cool. So these are the two things we're going to find. As you may remember from the last video we had on trigonometry, there was a couple of things we had to do. The first thing we had to do was label the sides. The next thing we had to do was work out the trig function. Whether that was sine, cos, or tan. Then we had to substitute in values. I'm just doing it nice and uh, short the way I'm writing here. And then we had to calculate. Now the way that we labelled the sides, if you remember, the side opposite the actual angle here was known as the opposite. So I'll just put that in, the opposite. The long sides are hypotenuse, we're not using that. But we're dealing with the adjacent here. Okay, so I labelled the sides for this one here. Then we had to work out whether we're using sine, cos, or tan. I had my way of remembering this. But some old hags can't always hack their old age. Okay, now we're going to be looking for the function that uses both the opposite and the adjacent. So that, for this one, is going to be tan. So I'll write that down. Tan feeder equals the opposite over the adjacent. Now if you remember feeder is the angle, so I'll rewrite this out as by substituting in the values. Tan feeder, tan 23 degrees equals the opposite. The opposite is x here, and the adjacent is 2600. Alright. Now in the last video I also showed you how I'd now work out what x is. Okay? And the way I would do that is I would write out this thing which I wrote in the last video, 3 equals 6 over 2. Now if you're not sure of this step, you may want to review the last video. Okay? But for the people who have done this, if we, we're looking at x here, x lines up with the 6 here. Okay, what would I do to 2 and 3 to get 6? Well I'd times them. So x is going to be these two times, so these two here I'm going to times. Tan 23 times 2600. And that equals, I have to use my calculator, so 23 tan times 2600 equals 
1103. Round it up to 1104, actually. I'll do that now. 1104 millimeters. So that's the height worked out. The next thing I was working out was the rafter. Okay. So I've got my triangle down here. Again, first thing I do is label the sides. Alright, so we're not dealing with the opposite here. We're going to be dealing with the hypotenuse and the adjacent. The next thing I have to do was work out the trigonomic function. Okay, the one that deals with the A and the H, which is cos. Okay, so I'll write that down. Cos theta equals A over H. Okay. Now we're going to continue this down here actually. Cos 23 degrees equals the adjacent, which is 3200 over the hypotenuse, which is y. Okay, I'll write my 3 equals 6 over 2. And we're dealing with, we're trying to find out the one here, the y. So y, this one here. What we'd do with 6 and 3 is we'd have to go 6 divided by 3. So we're going to go 3,200 divided by cos 23. 3,200 divided by cos 23 degrees equals, all right, get the calculator. 3,200 divided by 23 cos. Oh, that doesn't look too good. Better hit equals. Ah, much better. 3476. 3476 millimeters. Okay, so that's going to be the raft length. Just about three and a half meters. Okay, that's all pretty good. The last thing which we could also do here is we could work out this little angle up here. And I'll show you quickly how to do that, just for a bit of information's sake. This angle here is 90 degrees, this angle here is 23 degrees. Now, all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So 90 plus 123 is 113. If we take that away from 180, we get the answer of 67 degrees. This angle up here is going to be 67 degrees. Anyway, that's where trigonometry can be used in the real world, and that's an example I hope helps you understand trigonometry that little bit better. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.